guys welcome back today we're going to go over two pictures that I had finished that I haven't done the end reveal for so yes this is the one that I have been working on and I didn't do a full video on it mostly because I was enjoying myself and I didn't put the camera up and you know I just wanted to color but I know that a lot of people are following me on this and I'm going to help you through it so get your pencils out because here comes the list. <laughs> okay. I started with uh, the ground cover. Now the ground cover is a combination of lime peel and dahlia purple. Yeah, I know. You didn't think of that one. It's gorgeous. And we're going to talk more about that color, what it creates later on and why it creates it. And then I went through these uh, petals are the same as these. So I just followed the same pencil combinations that we've been working with all along. And the rocks were done in warm gray, um, probably about a 50% warm gray and eggshell. And when you mix it together, you get that um, sort of dirtyish stone color. And that's what I used for that. Um, it was a 50% warm gray on the shadowing for down here. I probably could have done a little bit more shadowing had I had the time. Now, as we move up, okay, we get to her boots. And her boots, let me see where I wrote it down. Um, Sienna Brown, Warm Gray 70% and Canary Yellow. And the you just go into the shadowy areas with the Warm Gray, mix it with the Sienna Brown, and highlight it with the Canary Yellow. The berries over here. The berries were black, black raspberry, hot pink, and the little tips on the top were peacock green. By the way, stick around till the end of this video. I've got a tip that is really awesome. So I'll have to make you wait. Okay, as we're moving up, the background was done in a little bit of China blue. I didn't do too much of it because of my timing. Um, there's a little bit of China blue in it. And then I used a cloud blue. And I just made a simple, you know, simple background. It was so much going on in this picture, I didn't want to get any fancier than I had it. I kind of wanted it to be like storybook. Um, the hat is the same as the boots, the Sienna Brown, the the gray, and the canary yellow. Canary yellow. Don't make fun of me. I hear you. I know who you are. Okay. Moving along to the scroll. Now you see my messy desk. Okay, we have the scroll. Now, the scroll I did in, okay, dark brown eggshell is over here. Dark brown mixed with blackberry, um, mixed with black raspberry and a little bit of goldenrod in there. I also used the 50% warm gray and I put that throughout making the lines and the creases. And that went all along here. Watch your light lines. Remember, it's going to be coming in. And this would be a tube. So you treat it like a tube. The shadow, the highlight would go through here. And then shadow down and up. So you just got to remember when doing the, the scroll. And it went the same way for this. Uh, the bottom. The shirt. Lilac, Parma Violet, and Gray Violet. Okay, you go in, you can tell which is what. That's the Parma Violet um, moving into the Lilac. And then you have, you could see the Gray in there. Okay, the leaves were just a simple orange-yellow blend, a little bit of Scarlet Lake. 
And let's see what else is on here. The mushrooms were done in the same colors as the berries. Except I did not, I think it's Scarlet Lake and white mixed together. There is a little tiny bit of pot pink in it. Um, this was sky blue, um, china blue, and a little bit of indigo. And that went for the same thing on here, except there's a little layer, slight layer, and you could see it right around here of sienna brown. So this was a simple blending and no major tricks. But I do have one and I want to show it to you because this is awesome. If you notice on this page, it's very shiny. And I've talked about seal sprays. Well, I used the seal on it. But instead of putting in my Posca, my white, and my orange, because you could see I used a little bit of Posca in the center. Just to give it a little bit of a whatever in the middle. Well... If you use the Posca and the acrylic paint, this is Acrylico. The link is in the description box below. Well, if you use it after your picture is sealed, what you get is bright white because the paint does not soak into the seal. So what I do is I spray it lightly. I give it one quick spray. I let that dry. I do my Posca. And then I put another seal on it. That Posca is going nowhere. It's sandwiched in between the seals. And instead of having, uh, you know, how like your white fades into the color and sometimes becomes that color. Well, look how bright you can get your Posca. And pinpoint... Just a tiny dot. And that's going nowhere and it's not changing any colors. It will stay that bright white. So that is your tip. And we will move on to the next page. And we will be revisiting. Remember this one? I finally finished it. Um... I went with the same colors, and to be honest, the color list is in the other um, video, and I will put it, I will copy it and put it in the links below. I didn't use any other colors. For the background, I was just trying something new because I was bored of, you know, and I did a grayed out little dots in the back, and I just was picking up different colors out of the box, whatever looked good. I stuck there, and in between, I used a 20% gray, cool gray, and in between, just to give it some blend, and in some areas, white. So that's what I got as far as this. I know I promised people that I would show them um, what this picture looked like, and here it is. Again, I sealed it. I have a nice, bright, shiny surface. Kind of looks like a photo. And I posked over it. And it worked. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, now, comes next week, things are going to change around here a little bit. And change a little bit for the better. Uh, we're going to be starting next week the new series, and I'm really excited for it because it's looking really good, and and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Keep coloring.